Khan Academy, Divide Fractions, and we're working on the subtopic Relate Fraction Division to Fraction Multiplication. Emily wants to use multiplication to solve 1 fifth divided by 3 equals A. So how can we switch that into multiplication? Well, for me, my first thing that I'm thinking of is, you know, when I see fractions, it starts to kind of make me... Um, make me panic, make me worried because it might be a little bit challenging. So I'm just gonna change this and pretend like it was six divided by three equals two. So if this was my problem and I was trying to change it to multiplication, I would simply do two times three equals six. Well now if I use that same knowledge over here, it would be a times three equals one-fifth. So a times three equals one-fifth. So notice I made this into a more doable problem because the fraction kind of um, made things more difficult for me. Which equation shows the same relationship as two equals four times one-half? Okay, so again, I'm going to make this into a little bit of a different problem. I'm going to say, okay, well, six equals three times two, which is a true statement. Six equals three times two, okay? Two equals four times a half, both true statements. But now let's look at how I could use these uh, to make a new problem, okay? So can I do two divided by four equals at one half? So six divided by three equals two? Oh. That does seem like it's going to work. Okay, but again, let's try. So I'm using where the num I'm using the correlating numbers to try this. So half divided by four. So two divided by three equals six. Nope, that's not going to work. Half times two equals four. So two times six equals three. That's not going to work either. So notice, I just changed it to a more doable problem, and then I used the numbers that are in the same locations to see which one of these would actually work. Which equation shows the same relationship as 42 equals 7 divided by 1 sixth? Okay, so I'm going to do another problem where I have a division problem that I'm doing. So I'm uh, this time I could use 15 equals... Oops, I don't want to do that one. Sorry. Let me see if I can erase this. Oops, it's not going to let me. All right, so let's try to, let's change this. 15 divided by 3. So 15 divided by 3 equals 5. So now notice, so my 42 is where my 5 is, equals my 7 is where my 15 is, and divided, and I have 3. Okay, so... Now, down here, they have 42 times 1 sixth equals the 7. So is 5 times the 3 15? It looks like A is my answer, but let's double check here. So they have 42 equals 1 sixth times 7. So if I use my same numbers here, that would mean 5 equals 3 times 15. Well, that's not going to work. 42 times 7 equals 1 6. So they took these two numbers and times to them. 5 times 15. Okay, so A is going to be my best option. And then Hannah wants to use multiplication to solve 2 divided by 4 equals C. Okay, so again, I'm just going to use a different problem here, and I'll use 12 divided by... 4 equals 3, okay, I could pick any division problem that I already know, okay, and if I want to use multiplication to solve this, now I can see this a little bit better because I can say, oh, it's just 3 times 4 equals 12, so it's C times 1 fourth equals 2, so which one do I have C times 1 fourth equals 2?